Hi, thanks for taking my call. Hi, Professor Higgs. Um, um, where to start? Uh, greed um, basically means wanting or taking more than one needs. But uh, in the business world, um, you have profit maximization, which means getting as much as you can. And I would see that that was even more virulent than greed. Okay, so we go to that sterile environment, and then you add to that the deregulation that started under the Carter administration that allowed for the SNL crisis. And uh, you had deregulation that happened at the end of uh, Carter administration. Uh, you had the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act and the Commodity Futures Modification Act, which allowed for things like Enron and our present crises. Uh, what do you think about deregulation? Uh, the more of it, the merrier. Uh, I would like to see everything deregulated. Because if everything were deregulated, then there would be a very strong incentive for people to be careful. For example, people wouldn't simply uh, put their deposits in a bank unless they had some information about the safety and the management of that bank. Uh, people would not simply buy securities uh, relying on some assurance that the Securities and Exchange Commission has looked over the security and uh, given it some seal of approval. Every time the government regulates something, it creates a false sense of security and leads people to neglect the kind of care that they ought to be giving to the management of their own affairs. Now, of course, when something goes wrong, uh, the tendency is then to turn around and blame it on uh, re deregulation, if any, if any has occurred. Uh, but this presumes that if we only regulated everything, then the world would be hunky-dory. But in fact, if we regulated everything severely so that we got rid of every risk, the world would be a nightmare. Uh, we rely on the fact that people have scope for risk-taking, and we rely on uh, the, the fact that people will take measures to, to protect their own interests. And uh, the idea that somehow we can rely on these government employees uh, as if they cared about us as a mother hen cares about her chicks uh, is something that hi historical evidence shows <laughs> is verging on a joke. Uh, these regulators very often are in bed with the people they regulate, uh, very often looking forward to a lucrative job in the industry they're regulating after they leave the regulatory agency. Very often people who came from the industry they're regulating uh, before uh, serving for a time on a regulatory agency and then returning to the industry. There's a revolving door uh, that's uh, very well documented. And uh, I, I think it's simply a kind of childishness to expect that we can rely on these overseers in the government to do the right thing and to protect us from uh, behaving foolishly or rationally or unwisely. We can't do that. We know we can't do that from the way uh, the historical events have taken place in the past.